Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jokes Vardoli and today we are playing Xenom, Xenom The Silent Call. I have butchered that name terribly. But thank you to the developers for giving me the Steam key to play this game for you guys today. This game looks freaky as hell. I did play a little bit of it. Uh, because, well, see down there, continue. But my video crashed. And, well, my video, my whole PC crashed and my video got completely deleted. Well, corrupted. So, I'm going to new game it so you guys can see what I was up to. But yeah. Uh, oh, back to this goddamn thing again. Why am I here? <laughs> I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember that I was driving with my daughter and wife in the car. After that, um... Okay. So... Yeah, when I, I've already played a lot of this and... Well, not a lot of it, enough of it. This is freaky as hell as it is. As I said, I want to play the full thing and I want you guys to see it. I'm not going to play it off of camera because that's just... No. And frustrating things like that do happen. I just hope it doesn't happen again. Otherwise, I might look blue on my top. But, in saying that, with the notes and stuff, I am going to just leave them up there. You guys can read it on your own time. And I'm just going to skip through it, skip the up to where I'm up to at the same time. Because that took me a good while to get to where I was. I mean, what? Okay, I might mess this up. All right. Anyway, long story short, this guy is in a mental hospital. What I've seen so far. I think I go to the surgery room first, and then come back. Yeah, long story short, pretty sure this guy got locked up in a psychiatric ward due to the fact of what happens in the game. Which you'll see soon enough. Let me in. I have to open, pretend to open the door. Oh, I did. I still knew that was coming and I still crapped myself. Alright. Here you guys. I'll leave this up for you. Why is that playing? Sorry, I had to leave that up so I could find the name of the game because I couldn't pronounce it properly. Alright. There you go. Get the key. Bingo. There's that cutie there that's still sitting in the corner like an absolute weirdo. Okay, read. Okay, two one two zero. Two, one, two, zero. Okay. Oh, uh, my sound go? Oh. Wait. Freaky. Okay. What? Oh, he says toilet. Last time I didn't hear that. Alright. 
I think something's really going on my computer at the moment. It's not handling stuff at the moment, and it's been crashing more than the average amount. So, do sorry for this developers for having <laughs> not exactly me showing off the game exactly the way I originally planned to. And I'm sorry to you guys that it's not exactly showing the exact reaction I was showing at the very start, but I was amazed. I can tell you that I've been impressed so far. There we go. I'll... <laughs> okay, well, I'm off. Let's go get my stuff. So, I think that was a future event that we saw just before. Jessica w was changing clothes in the room. We had plans today. Oh yeah, we also got a little friend out here as well. Being a little creep. Alright, we'll just go do the stuff. Have a little tinkle. <laughs> Going back through everything again. <laughs> Shut up. And let's go have a snack. Apple. Ring. Ring for me. Please. There we go. I'll pick it up. The caller was Emily, Sarah's mother. She was asking if we could come over come to the birthday party. We were about to hit the road. After taking the flashlight, get into the car. I have to ask who generally does that? Get a flashlight before they go into the car? But then again, some people do weird things. I won't judge. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Here we go. Onwards! Back to the forest I go. Mm. Chalky milk. We were running late to the, for the birthday party. That's when, that's why we chose the shortest forest road. There's a tree blocked path. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa. You know what's funny? I did want to say before... But before I crashed and I was playing this game, there was a jump scare. I thought it was pretty ironically funny because I was thinking to myself, Ha! Huh, it didn't just scare the shit out of me, it also scared enough my computer enough to shat itself. So, <laughs> it was kind of just ironic this timing when it happened, so... I don't know why it happened, but it did happen, so... But... Also, we have a dead cow. I named him Jeff now. And Jeff shall be his name. Nope. Okay.
Ups he goes, he's... Just let you know, also. So I'm gonna describe where, because I'm not too far from where I was when I crashed, before I crashed. This place is freaky as hell. Even though it doesn't look as freaky, but in, like, it makes me so paranoid because I feel like something's gonna jump out at me. Okay. I'm pulling one again. You guys can hear, but I can't. So, I mean, there's something bugging at my PC at the moment, and it's bugging more and more. I think it's my dongle. I think it's disconnecting. There we go. I'll keep my... Okay. There we go. That should fix it. Oh, come on. Alright, apparently sound's completely cut out for me. Even though you guys in here, I've completely lost sound. Well done, me. As I said, got nothing to do with the game, it's on my end. Because apparently, like I said, everything just seems to be going wrong. Right now. And it sucks because I am loving this game, and... Yeah, that's what happened last time, but it was stuck at the thing. Stuck it sticking out this way last time. <laughs> it's the back room's clock. It's no clipping. And someone take a picture of me. I never even notice. There's a gap between there. Actually, that'd be coming handy because I got a funny feeling I actually might need that now. Hmm. Alright. Oops, he goes. He's, please. God, please don't crash. This is where I was last time in that crash. <laughs> I'm coming this time, Jessica. My PC will handle itself this time for me to make it to you. I don't know anything after this part. Ah! Man in the window. What the hell? I, I know literally nothing after this part. Run, run, run. Ah. Nah. Nah. Jessica? Where are you, darling? Okay. What the bloody hell? Hmm. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm out of you, boy. Nah. <laughs> I'm out of here. Now I'll be dumb shit like that, me. Fuck the. <laughs> Fuck the lady. Fuck the trip. I'm going home, going to bed. Don't get up again. Nah. Then we go camping again. Lanky out, dark figure jumps in front of me like no, like the basketball player. Freak. Ugh. 
coming, Jessica! Even though I want to go home! That was one long ass walk. Suicide. It's a bit blurry, but at least I can make that out. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm tensing up. Oh, come on, leave me alone. I saw someone in your window. Wait. It's on the freaking wall. Now in the house. Fight me. Shit me. Maybe the back door. I'm gonna avoid that whole thing. While searching for Jessica, I had found a house. Perhaps she could be there. There's freaking blood in the ground, buddy. What the hell? Oh, pizza. Okay, I'll stay because there's pizza. Is my flashlight just going again? Oh, and eggs too. Damn, they're making a good brekkie. Got some cereal. A blurry ass. Oh, I didn't mean. Get, get back here. Say I got lost again. Those grey clouds are hovering ab above me. Evolving. Uh, uh, evolving. What? Developing my soul. What? The medication as if attempting to elevate the darkness in my mind. But how effect... Um, effective they are I don't know this frail body this tired mind it feels like it's getting heavier eh. there we go we come back to the mic I feel like I'm really far away from the mic uh, heavier every day no matter how hard I try I feel like I'm lost in the darkness people around me talk laugh, continue living, I, on the other hand, had, I am a, a, an observer, okay, a mere figure, a mere figure, existing on the edge of life, even though I am in this world, I can't establish a connection with it, my journal is a kind of int, Internal scream, perhaps no one will read these lines. But writing seems um, to ele elevate this weight, if only a little. Yet, even among these pages, I feel lost. Maybe this lonesome 
could lead me to find someone perhaps in the, this dark uh, in this place where I'm lost I can find a glimmer of hope my a, a light maybe okay maybe body maybe give yourself the benefit of the doubt there's always a will that there's when there's always a will there's always a way like my torch right now seems to fail in my life and there's a will, there's a way, and I will find some batteries and smack them in there. Oh, f oh, freaking. I grab the key. Got the key. Lovely. I love reaching my hands down people's necks and body parts and weird crap like that. I can't see nothing. It's so dark. I need some. Find it. Whoa. My heart's racing. There's something in there, isn't it, with me? I guess I ain't going in the dark, creepy ass hallway. Means something was downstairs. Ah, oh, sh. Oh, double shit. Okay, bye. That was a bit rude. Just getting the crap at me like that. I can't see crap, it's dark. I have to go back this way. Or maybe there's. Nope. Can I just run out the front door and leave? Like a, like a good boy? There's probably something in here I can't see, is there? Wander around the dark, hope to find something. Or maybe not, maybe there isn't actually anything. Oh, Alright, maybe I'll just go back up. Dang it. Okay, so there's nothing there. I feel like I'm playing, like playing Resident Evil Biohazard or something like that. I've got that. I've got nothing to put in there, though. I know this about to sound stupid, but... Oh, I just need to shut the door for it to work. Oh, you poor bugger. At least you got some entertainment while being dead. 
Hey, you got a Atari. Come on, hold the thought. Okay, come back, I got a phone call. Why a sack of shit? I'm gonna go talk here if I do shit myself. What am I walking on? It's like sludgy. Hello? <laughs> Suicide. Okay, it seems to be the big thing at the moment. I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm going. You can keep your freaking Atari. You can keep your nice food. And stick it. Where the sun don't shine. That's what I think. What? What the hell's this key for then? God damn it. God freaking damn it. God fucking hell. They didn't leave anything in here, did they? We got a key, but what's the key for? Maybe the front door? Maybe I meant to look for the rest of the numbers. Oh wait, maybe I can go in here now. I think there was blood in here last time. Oh, I didn't check this door. Is there a light switch in here? Apparently not. Okay. Read note. I found myself alone with a, the painful thoughts that I struggle to put on paper. The echoes of my daughter still intoxicates my soul and I feel the need to empty myself by writing these lines. Her laughter and was the only light that illuminated my world of a grey even if just a little. But life played a cruel game to steal that light away from me. What I did was not intentional, confronting the truth from time to time, reflecting on what I had done and what I couldn't do. Feels like an earthquake shaking my core. Maybe... You cannot, can't understand, perhaps no one will read these lines, but you should know that it wasn't my choice, but the circumstances beyond my control that led me down this path. My writings are nothing more than desperate screams within myself, even if no one reads these words, writing brings 
some relief, perhaps within these pages, I am lost, a lost soul. But maybe one day these expressions will leave a mark where I got lost. Huh. Interesting. And it looks like I can now snip some crap. Saranara Kitchen. I am going to get myself a freaking thing unlocked and get some batteries for my torch. Because I need them. For a dark room. Because apparently there's no light switch existence in there. Because goddamn how awesome. Snip. Okay, that's pretty cool. Weird, but I can dig. Look at that a second. Is that a lighter? Read note. That day was another nightmare. I experienced one of the darkest moments of my life. My wife, the most precious part of my life, slipped away tragically in a car accident. The sound of the collision, the tread. Oh yeah, shatters the gla shatters the glass. Even remembering them pains heart my pains my heart. In that moment, time stood still, and everything was dragged into a sudden dark void. But the pain didn't end there. My daughter became paralyzed as a result of the accident. Witnessing her trying to cling to life every day, yet fa failing shatters my heart even more. I ra raised her with my own hands, embracing her love, uh, her with my with love, <laughs> looking. And now, it feels like. I have taken her life with my own hands. I couldn't be a good father. Every day I question why I've brought such pain to my family. Perhaps writing these lines can somewhat elevate the destruction within me. But right now I feel like a lost, shattered soul. That's dark the silence guess that is kid there probably he's probably trying to bring it back I'm be raging through the wall like a freaking weirdo. Maybe this. Yes! What's this? Oh, I found a key. I don't know what the pitch is meant, but I'll take the key. Wow, that's some sexy feet. I'm going to read this note before I go get screamed the shit out of. Today I couldn't resist the anger boiled in, boiling within me. Once again, I hate everything. This dull life and painful memories. And most of all, the nightmares within myself. That my doctor couldn't rescue me from this chaos. These medications instead of calming me. The storm inside me seems to infest, in, oh, intensify. It's, why isn't he healing me? Why can't he find a cure for my illness? These questions are driving me more insane. I'm lost in hopelessness. In, I'm lost in hopelessness. My anger feels like a natural re reaction. Reaction. 
to all of these perhaps I hope this in internal storm will calm one day but for now the darkness within me leaves a bitter taste of hatred well, that's a bit dark wait hey bye <laughs> I can smell you too you smell kind of nice can I just turn the light on here? Oh, they're lame. Yo, dude, I kind of need to get in there. I'm just walking this way. Walking my fat ass somewhere else. E. Where's he? Oh, this. If this says something important, I can't read that. It mess it's messing with what I'm seeing. <laughs> the vision. Not very well, anyway. Weird. So there's like a mirror thing on that side. Okay. Wow, oh, shit. Body bags on. Wait a second. There we go. Well, that seems like an issue. <laughs> I was looking at my freaking time. It's scaring me. Fuck. I got a bed kit there, at least if I get hurt, I know with a heel. This person was stockpiling on cans. Oh. Boy, was, was I supposed to move that? Probably not yet. I'll come back to that. I want to see what's up here first. What, what, what was the creepy man crawling on there here for? Oh man. Got a reward. Alright. My daughter, my little angel, was dependent on life support. In her hospital bed a f and facing this reality was becoming increasingly difficult with each passing day. I didn't want it, no, I didn't want her t to breathe in this dark world. What? Okay. I didn't want to condemn her to this life of pain and sorrow. Yet every day the sounds of the machine tether tethered to her tired body were shattering my heart. The tor tor terminal 
within me, what? Amongst the pain of feeling like a parent was shaken by the desire to do what was best for her. Perhaps shuddering of her machines. Or shutting off her machines. Of these machines. Would be the best decision for her. But making that decision was the deep, deepening the cracks I had created within myself. I didn't know what to do. All I knew was that I wanted to end wanted an end to my daughter's suffering. Maybe making these decisions or decision could be one final gift for her. Whoops. Oh god. It's like a cracking noise in my ear. Oh. Oh fuck. Codes. I wasn't prepared for coding. Okay. Ah. Oh. But um I did it, I did it. I use my brain cells because I have a big brain. That was a pain in my butt. I got lock, lost on it. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> I, I was trying to figure out where that piece of paper was. I knew I saw that. Damn, it hit the head. What the hell? Headache. <laughs> I've always thought with, him, uh, with myself I can never change the outcome. Huh. I'm here and I'll be here forever. What the hell? Am I in jail? Am I in psychiatric ward? Hey. I can't read that from here. Oh, it's annoying. Wait, can I? Let me zoom in. Here. This was exactly what I wanted to do to myself. I wanted to kill myself in this, in this way countless times. But I chose to surrender. I'm here now. All alone, doctors diagnosed me with severe anxiety and depression. I am taking my medication regularly now. I aim to heal. I didn't want to lose my daughter. Her cheerful laughter was the only light illuminating my world along with my wife's. My wife died because of my, me. Maybe if I had been more careful, both of them would still be alive. I didn't want my daughter to endure the pain. That pain after the accidents. Well, thinking about what I could do to protect her, I thought the silent call book could be the hope. Maybe we could have a chance to keep her alive. But I summoned an unknown entity. A connection was established between us. And sometimes I see it, I surrender eventually to avoid harming people. But I never wanted any of any of this to happen. Now I'll spend the rest 
of my life in this cell. Doctors will take care of me and I'll take my medication. The diary, the diary makes me feel better, but I keep repeating stories with the same ending. It's time to end this cycle and start a new page. I have decided to finish the diary, perhaps a new page, a new hope and a new beginning could emerge. I hope I can find a way to salvate of a way of salvation for my lost soul. End question mark. Oh, that was actually it. That was it. Alright. There you go, guys. That's the game. Examine the Silent Call. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I absolutely love the game. It was a pity that the first part, like the first video I did, it crashed and everything was lost. But in saying that, I still enjoyed it. I love the mechanics. I love everything about it. Kind of give me Resident Evil and Outlast vibes. And like I said, thank you to the developers too for giving me access to this game. Much appreciated. It was excellent. And anyway, here we go. I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys. Peace. Thank you.